So, hello everyone, uh, I am Amit Raj Jain, uh, I am in charge for customer service and outbound logistics uh, for glass business. So, we will begin our presentation about what is environment and uh, how eco packaging helps us in terms of uh, saving our environment. All of you know that uh, tree plays a very big role in saving our environment. So, let us discuss first about something about the trees. Trees contribute uh, uh, to the environment by providing oxygen, improving air quality, conserving water, preserving soil and supporting the wildlife. Trees take in carbon dioxide and produce oxygen so that we can breathe and this is the most essential part of life which all of us know that. So, what does a tree mean to you or mean to all of us? So, the importance of trees, it acts as a wind barrier, a filtration, biodiversity, shade, erosion control and also decreases noise pollution. The living landscapers, how does tree help in the rural and the urban landscapers? So, how do you value trees in rural environments? Wind protection for crops, for erosion controls, creates diverse plant and animal habitats, purifies the air absorbing carbon monoxide, sulphur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. And how does it help in the urban environments? Tree muffles urban noise. A mature leaf tree produces as much as oxygen in a season so that 10 people can inhale in a year. Trees help cleanse the air. They serve as energy savers and also wind breakers. So, yes to protect the environment and to save the trees and to do this, we also dispatch glass in naked which is also called the unpacked condition. So, going forward, yes naked glass sales and dispatch is it a boon? Yes friends, it is a boon. So, one is it protects the environment, second is increase the storage density both at the plant and the customer warehouse, easy handling, faster loading and unloading, reduction of handling risk and minimal breakage in transit, also reduction on use wood usage for packing material and overall cost benefit. So, let us discuss about naked glass handling and how do naked glass is handled at the customer end. We will explain about the safe methods of naked glass handling, unloading, movement of warehouse and the storage. So, there is a sequence of operations, first the general responsibilities while handling naked glass, ensure availability of trained manpower which is very 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 important, we should have the skilled and the trained manpowers, ensure wearing of PPE by all the personnel responsible for handling naked glass, helmet, safety, shoes, goggles and gloves which are most important factors to be taken care while handling naked glass, arm guard, leg guard and the apron. You can see the picture below with all the items given there. Safety concerns, we should have zero tolerance. All of us know that warehouse is a busy activity and there are men moving around. Ensure that your activity does not harm others, while moving material do use warning sound, always keep your eyes on the job you are doing, understand the correct method of operation and follow the procedure which is being defined. Be prepared for the container or the truck placement and the quality inspection, Allo please allocate a unloading bay and a point for truck or a container. Ensure the following are ready, the GVTRA spreader bar as the case may be depending upon the size of the glass, belts with side supports 6 meters for TRA and 8 meters for the GV or jumbo sizes. There are different types of loading, one is the manual which is done and also crane, nowadays most of the places they adopt the crane method of unloading. For the crane method of unloading we require relevant spreader bar, belts with bottom wood support which is most important factor. This is the, uh, the spreader bar with 9 nanometer bend, you can see in the picture, you have the spreader bar is the metal uh, uh, equipment and the belts which are made of nylon. This is the truck loaded with naked glass, you can see the TRA spreader bar with 6 meter belt and the belt size support, the side arm support is also given. Okay. Decide the unloading pattern of glass keeping the following points in mind, ensure good quality belt and ensure that it is free from any cuts and also both the belts are of equal length. Start unloading of naked piles using the web slings with side arm support which is very very important. Replace the web slings if it is found damaged. Use correct bottom wood in the web slings which is important 
the glass should not get tilted while unloading. Sequence of activities using the crane, first remove the tarpaulin or the polythene cover which is covered the truck, cut the secured steel straps very safely, remove the metal vertical support from its place, place the belt evenly on the both the sides of the pile preferably at 6 inch from the edge. Unload only one pile at a time. Unloading to be done both from left and the right hand. That is very, very important. Again, bottom wood dimension should be accurate and proper. You can see the picture here. Ensure that the correct size bottom wood is used for lifting the naked pile. The bottom wood size should be pile width plus 10 mm which is important to balance the glass while unloading. Excess width or less width can create damage to the glass and the glass, the chance of glass falling down. The storage rack, rack should be rubber lined, legs should be empty and should be kept ready for unloading naked piles. A way of keeping the pile separator and to store the naked glass. From this picture, you can see that different types of glasses in the back you have the the bigger sizes in the front you have the smaller sizes but you can see that they are stored evenly they are stored one behind the other with a proper pile separator which is being given pile separator and its position this is how the glass is being stored and the pile separators are kept you can see the picture which clearly defines how the pile separator has to be kept in the over the pile the angle of stacking this is very very important factor Correct inclination should be maintained between 3 degree and 5 degree. If the inclination is more than 5, pile may break and if the inclination is less than 3, pile may fall. You can see the picture how the glass is kept in the warehouse. It is inclined in a proper position to avoid any fall and breakage of glass. This is the naked glass storage in warehouse. You can see the picture again which is clearly showing that how the naked glass is being stored on the racks one behind the other. This is the complete rack which gives a proper picture and understanding how the glass is being stored in the warehouse. So, what are the don'ts and the do's while handling naked glass? Do not place bigger sizes glass pile in front of smaller glass size pile. This is a very, very important thing. Do not place pile separators unevenly. As discussed before, this should be placed one behind the other. Do not stand in front of the stored and or moving naked piles. Safety is very, very important. Do not incline the piles more than the required degree, 3 to 5 degree it should be maintained. Either there are chances of pile falling down or the piles breaking up. The do's, do ensure that the bottom wood is of correct size. Do use nylon slicks of the same size which is very, very important. Otherwise, it will misbalance the glass while unloading. Do place full length pile separators between each piles. So, summary, TRA naked glass movement, the name of the activity itself clearly indicates the hazards and the care required and to be taken by the people who are handling naked glass in the warehouse. Being individual lights, the risk of lights falling and breaking is very high while stored or being transported. Being unprotected, the damage to the metal is also high by boom. So, due care and strict adherence to the procedure discussed as of now is required. This is very important and we need to ensure that there should be zero tolerance in terms of safety, in terms of the procedure which is being clearly defined. So, there are different types of, we load naked glass uh, in different types of uh, sizes and there are different types of naked glass loading. One is only the TRA sizes. The TRA sizes are uh, the bigger sizes and uh, which are of even sizes of same sizes in a truck, very easy to load. These are all small sizes. Small sizes are uh, uh, in a different segment of customers it is required where the customers unload sheet by sheet and in case of TRA it is also unloaded manually or also with the help of crane. This is a mixed combination of TRA plus SS sizes which is more of a different combination and it is uh, very difficult to load but easy in terms of unloading. <coughs> this is multi references, multi references in the sense we can load any number of given sizes with TRA, SSS 
with different reference combination which is also possible. Single references, single references in a U frame, U frame is a different kind of a frame wherein also, so we have different sets of frame for different sizes to be loaded. In all, even the GV sizes which are the biggest and to be unloaded mostly by using crane. If you see that we can load all types of sizes and unload all types of sizes in naked. This is possible and with this we can save lot of trees and finally save our environment which is required at this hour. So this is the unloading of uh, material from the truck at the customer end. You can see the sequence of process and how safely it is being unloaded with all the procedures are being properly followed. This is important and we need to ensure the proper unloading of glass at the customer end also. So over a period of years there has been a uh, process and this is being defined and followed and saving of trees and success of eco packaging has been very consistent. And we have been growing in terms of saving our trees and also the success of eco packaging. So with this friends I end my presentation. So let us all of us go green and save trees this will finally save you.